Good morning, grasshoppers. One game going. Let's check it out. Across three screens, I'm losing track of my mouse. It's slowing me down a little bit. I think White is running that Rook out of squares pretty well. Yesterday I needed to sleep. In fact, I'm going to try to make a habit of sleeping more often. If at all possible. Aye, aye, aye. I realize, of course, that my office is so cluttered. I'm having difficulty working in it. So that's the awkward part. Time to spend some time in the office. Maybe, maybe just do an IRL, just chatting thing on a jiggy, just to try to get the office taken care of. What do you think? That might be what it what's needed. I need company cleaning the uh, cleaning the office. Yeah, I'm not sure why we stopped uh, on G7, but this is a very clever trick. Now we're a little overworked. You cats, we're getting close to being forked. Tober is trying his best. We definitely have a coach who has found us from KP, KBPL. <clears throat> and we have routine and daily events. I'm very happy they're here. I have to find out where they're from. How many KBPL players does it take to get to the center of this? We have another one in the back. I like it. Is this what I want to see or do I just want to bring this open? Good morning, John. Good luck in the tournament. Good morning, Arena. Yes. We are going to be playing the English opening as is uh, volume one, two, and three. Now, I was reading it yesterday or the day before. He talks about He really, really talks about reading them in order. I've never actually thought about reading an opening book like the Grandmaster opening repertoire, right? I haven't opened it yet. I'm just mentioning that just can't quite conceive of it. Go ahead, make me make. All right, fine. Uh-oh. I'm afraid now we're going to have to drive that night back. Take advantage of the pen. It's Arena Chan. Said, I looked into modern Venoni theory and Sicilian Chinese dragon. 
Nice. Those are two Screen very fun chat. systems. Said, look both fun. Both of those are very fun. Very, very fun. Now, my opponent has only taken one pawn, mind you. So if he takes two pawns... What will we make of it? I'm going to try to hang on to one and block out the other while I'm at it. Could have used d3, but I am have my reservations about getting d4 in. And there it is. The opponent's hanging on to the pieces pretty well. They're aware of some threats. They didn't really see the long distance diagonal. So this is a very young opponent, Vika. Let's force the exchange of another... Uh, piece or two. Hmm. Let's force the exchange of some more. After all, we are up a rook. Oh no! Something funny is going on here. They've run out of gas. Feel terrible, Vicka. Hang in there, though. Keep applying yourself. People who are worried about this Godojo being too strong are going to welcome you be here. Uh, I'm going to lock that knight into place. It's Arena Chan. Said, you learn chess better facing stronger opponents. Absolutely. The main and most awkward part, of course, is that you have to take your licks over a long period of time. I am offering him something, but he's not taking it. Very annoying. Alright. Can't remember your name. Finally focusing on some weaknesses like F7. If the opponent's paying attention to my threats, very good. Let us see if they're paying attention to all of my threats. No, that wasn't one of them, unfortunately. F5, King H1. Vicka, do not give up. I refunded your 24... Uh, game match uh, arena just because we weren't able to do it right away. I said we can always do it But I refunded the the points just because they were they could accidentally either disappear or whatever a mod could accidentally approve it or think it was already done in the past some of those things have happened Whether I've refunded them or not I'm still honoring all of my previous uh, 
World Championship study things, but I'm so far behind that uh, automatically convert your clips for TikTok. Interesting. I like it. We're way overdue for that. Now we're now we're talking. It is important to play strong players on a regular basis. It is, as Arena said, the only way to really test yourself and to learn from stronger players while you're applying yourself to become better at what you want to do. I shouldn't say it's the only way. But it's the primary way. Testing yourself, finding out what you're made of, what the knowledge is about. So Magnus Carlsen was streaming last night. I had a hard time. Uh, I came home early to try to stream because I missed yesterday morning stream. And then Magnus Carlsen was sucking all the air out of Twitch. So I didn't have a ch I didn't have much of a choice, unfortunately. Good morning, Ali. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Namaste, sir. Welcome back. Love to see you, buddy. Pegasus Another quiet morning here in the dojo. Namaste. Thank you, Pegasus. I'm happy that uh, I didn't necessarily miss anything yesterday. There were quite a number of people in yesterday morning's event, believe it or not. Even though I wasn't here. I was attempting to sleep. I woke up to get the event started, make sure everything was unlocked. Do a brief advertisement. And it all worked out. Let's see, yesterday morning's was the Cyrenish Andrasians. Andreasians. And we had 11 then, not bad. I did get one win in because I didn't withdraw in time. Go back to sleep so i had to play one game then i went back to sleep it all works out yeah, unfortunately maskness and what am i playing is black I feel like I could stay with the, I should stay with the Karakan until I master this new opening with white. After all this opening almost plays itself. Yeah. Now I'm ready to take the night. Ready to take is the night. He saw through me. All right, let's see what he can take. World best ninja. Thanks for following. Am I losing that much? I am. I'm losing horribly. He fell into an I fell into a nice trap in that opening. 
Let's see what that was all about. Let's just take a quick peek at the engine here. C3, yes. I was supposed to take on it on F3 right away. Got it. I could also play E6, but after Bishop B5, now I take on E3, and then I take on F3, and then I take on C5. Yeah, I transpose the move order and I lose. So I have to take on F3 first. Got it. Lesson learned. Let's look at that some more, by the way, while we're at it. Now, in general, Eric, against knight c6, they're supposed to... Hey, John. Knight f3 is, in theory, the new popular way. Good morning, Eric. How are you? Where did I see you the other day? I saw you in another stream. I don't think you got your Flex Friday yet. What happened to Flex Friday? Dude, what happened to Flex Friday? Did we ever finish it? Asking six days later. Five days later. Erikido said, yeah, I don't know. I tell you, she's gotten a little bit more uh, Los Angeles-ish. Since she's moved to California, I don't know if anybody realizes what that means, but to me, it's like, there is so much uh, going on in that city. New York has similar problems as far as the variety of things that can go on. Erikido said, I found a nice line in the advanced Karo C5 line. For white? Excellent. I think that one I just experienced is a pretty good line. Luring me in here. In theory, I'm just supposed to take advantage of the fact that this is a good friend for me. I don't often agree with Arena, but she is right for once you learn the most against better opponents, especially when you lose, and he explains your mistakes afterwards. Well, or she. And she explains your mistakes afterwards. <laughs> Depending on your perspective, right? So did take c5 is I thought the only move, but a vast majority of players are still playing all these moves. All these moves are good. Knight f3, c takes d4, knight takes d4, knight c6. I do just need to iron this one out later. Torboard Ringdahl Hansen Carlson's trainer does believe in knight c6. Just for freedom of movement. F4 is one that I've always had a little bit of difficulty against. It can't be held that easily. Bishop to E3. Uh, Erikido said, Yeah, E4, C6, D4, D5, C5, NF3, BG4, C4, CX, D4, CX, D5, QX, D5, NC3 sets a nice trap. That's amazing. Do we see it on the board? I have not been a huge believer. I'm going to turn off the engine. I don't want any spoilers. So C5... Oh, you're not playing uh, the other way. But no, this is the thematic move that I would play. I would play C takes D4 before they have a chance to play C3. So the trap that you're looking at is... Bishop G4, C4. And after C4, D4, C5, D5... I believe I got the line correct. Yep. Yeah. 
This is very unclear. This is very, very unclear. I don't know what my first reaction would be. Well, Queen D8 is not my first move, but it is a, uh... This, by the way, uh, is not my first choice, but I believe it would be the first choice of many Scandinavian players who play that way. Oh. Gotta go... Make sure that the tournament hasn't started yet. Bishop B5 and castles? There's a line in the C3 Sicilian where this knight is ha is sacrificed. There's also, I'm sorry, in the C3 Sicilian where this knight is sacrificed. BB5 and QXD. Oh, that makes sense. Wow. This just looks totally dominating, though. This looks totally dominating for white. QXD4, even after NC6. Wow. Yeah, way too many pawn moves for black for me. I mean, if I were playing black, I probably would never get close to this line. So it's good that we're going to work it out now. Um, like I said, I would t I would definitely be taking on D4 before. I'm going to look at it a little bit more slowly to see what the likelihood of this opening occurring is. Oh, they're still going. Eric Edo said. Maybe C4 before NF3. Will that lead to the same thing? I don't think it works out as well. Knight F3. Oh. Yep, I play C takes D4 first. That is very, very cool, this whole line, though. Force Shade said, Hello. Welcome, Force Shade. How are you? Good morning. Are you in the event? Let me make sure that you have the event. There's still time for you to enter the event. Let me just make sure I... Force Shade, you may enter that event right there. You might need to join the team. I hope you're available. Because after this round, we won't be able to get in. 30 players. What's up with that? I take one day off and everyone comes back. I'm on page, I'm on the middle of page two. You gods, folks. accidentally played D4. The D's for us is available on PSA PF2 platform. Thank you, Alexa. What in the world is going on? China go, what is going on?
Can I play it this way? Let's just get our pieces out. Arikido said, It's crazy the rain we are getting in Sacramento, so much flooding in and around the area, trees falling. It is crazy. I'm so sorry to hear that, man. Above us, so sky. Uh oh, there goes the neighborhood. Get away with this. It looks like it's getting worse and worse. We're trying to go. Now, is my queen trapped? It does look like my queen is trapped. Well, he didn't try to trap it. I wonder if you can <coughs> No need for greed or hunger A brotherhood of men Imagine, Imagine all the people Trying to sneak up on you from the other direction, though. And the world will live this one. Never take a pinned piece if you can attack it again. And again, and again, just trying to step our way in. And now for some long lasting effect here. Uh, 
that was an experimental opening. Control the center. Don't move too many pawns. Get your pieces out quickly. Get your king safe. Don't move too many side pawns. Concentrate on only moving your center pawns when you are young. But Ron, hey, ladies and gentlemen, I didn't give him his traditional shout out. I apologize. I, I have to wake. Ladies and gentlemen, Ron Hay, a.k.a. Pegasus, for the 100 bits. To start off the stream. Needed some personal care yesterday. Wednesday morning streams are always iffy. So, Ron, that was my game earlier, by the way. But we were analyzing a trap that was done by um, Eric Keto. I'm going to have to check the weather in Sacramento to see what you're going through, man. Is it bad in all of California, or are you just getting it in the Midwest in part? I can't imagine it never rains in Southern California. So therefore, could global warming be affecting all of us, yeah? Shore sack and surrounding areas. <laughs> I always mean to mute my mic before I sneeze or blow my nose. I apologize. To avoid those clippable moments. I need to put aside some of these for later. And I'm not taking my cough drops with me. For the train. Fifty-four Raiders from Jack's No way, Jack Sarkisian. How are you, man? Jack Sarkisian. Thank you for following Igloo Kid. Noshi Eu. No Ray. Jose. Said. Namaste, I Jack. <laughs> Doing good time, HRU. Thank you for following. I am a FIDE trainer and National Master John MacArthur. The National Master title and like $3 will get me on the bus. That's how much it's worth. Unfortunately. No, she. No, she eat you. I am a huge fan of the European Union. So, when I was watching Magnus Carlsen stream, who saw Magnus Carlsen streaming last, last night, by the way, on Twitch? Who saw that? Did anyone else see that? Now he's actually threatening to capture and... Said, I did. And he reaches this position as black, by the way. Against the London, I think, in the first game, or in one of those early games. Some of it was tired, yeah. I do want to get rid of that bishop. Drunk chess said, I was tired. Some of it I was tired, yeah. He's throw it deciding on whether or not he wants to throw in. Didn't stay to lend. It was like a textbook demonstration on how to deal with the London. Honestly, it was really, really cool. Drunk chess. Said, he can play a bit. He can play a bit. Yeah, we're just going to continue to break down the center with our two center pawns. We already have a material advantage. 
For those of you unaware of what that material advantage is, you only need to know We have a great outpost square for a night. Really? What are you trying to prevent me from doing? Let's just double. We'll prepare to double. Now we have a very typical Carlsbad structure. He has a pawn majority on the outside. And we're just going to prepare to limit. Further square weaknesses? Erikido said, just read something that said they're expecting 70 miles per hour wind. Oh my god, that's horrible. So can we expand all of his pawns and let his king in with a tempo? Bomb cyclone. We haven't even begun putting pressure on the opponent yet. Isn't that what's crazy? Let's do it. That means we do need to get a little closer. Can I go this way? So we're exchanging pawns. Exchanging pawns. We have a protected pass pawn in the center. Hugh Normus Among Us said, winning pawns. Winning Pawns Park. Hugh Normus Among Us said, Pog. Indeed. Yeah. Yeah. King battening down the two open files, fair enough. So we have a protected, we have a, uh, an, a central pass pawn. Let's get this pawn moving while his king is cut off. Just for a moment while his king is cut off. Use our extra piece in the center to our advantage. I'm going to let him uh, continue. Just a little bit.
Can I go that way? Do I want to shuffle that way? Or do I have to go the other way? I want to go the other way. All the patients in the world, do not hurry. And now for something completely different. Have I really overworked myself? Yeah, I do have to go in the front, unfortunately. We just have to do a little prep. Just a little prep. Yeah, I love that endgame technique there. I should have gone for it the first time. Winning pawns. Enormous. Demongous. Thank you for the comments. Thank you for being in the chat. Well, at least we made it back to page one. These, ra these tournaments every morning, by the way, are only... available in the dojo you'll see that these are every morning and the calendar link as well find the calendar link we'll put it in the uh youtube chat as well just to let you know We try to do this every single day. So what happened in that game? Is that a normal London? Oh, this was me as white. Oh no, this was... Uh, I don't know why it comes up with me as it always defaults to white, I guess. So it always frowns upon bishop g4. I don't understand. Stockfish just does not want to give up that bishop pair. It's like I'm giving away a half a pawn to threaten to take that knight. Is that crazy or what? What is up with that? Bishop f5 is better. Answering the London with the London. Yes, I could see that. I guess I could see that. Pegasus SWE said, Caro Khan from London, right, John? Yep, this is now a Caro Khan, exactly. And Magnus Carlsen does exactly the same thing. He just takes on d4, gets the Carlsbad pawn structure in his own words. This is the Carlsbad pawn structure. And works from there, which meant uh, that I wanted to look it up from Rios' uh, work. Ladies and gentlemen, once again, Pegasus. I have to give him a shout out and a lot of praise for being a supporter because I'm very appreciative and thankful. Without him and many others, of course, over the time. Yeah, I'm going with the Magnus Carlsen repertoire for now until we get this English opening under wraps. I don't like the English opening that much, honestly. 
And why don't I like the English opening that much? All right. So I'm going to experiment here with uh, the Kasparov system. And against this, we're going into the English again. One of the best games of the chess informant features Ivanchuk. On the white side. Probably d5 was better. Just to embarrass black. We're going into a really traditional English. Symmetrical English. I think is volume two of this series. Might be volume three. I should look. Yes, I believe this is it. Am I completely overworked? Let's find out. Definitely reached some original territory here. With knight to e4, for me anyway. So he's managed to give away all of his uh, king side stuff. Or what? Turned down for what? We're going to play some original things ourselves. Is he isolating that pot on purpose? I guess he's trying to exchange off the g4 pawn with the pawn on d5. It's a thought. It is a thought, but now the b7 pawn is hanging, as well as the d4 pawn. Can I go this way? I don't think so. Just want to get some uh, expansion. I mean, we could always take on D5 on b7 and then play our rook to c7, I guess. Or we can just go for it immediately. And we'll see what we get. Kingslayer Sloan. Thirteen. Kingslayer Sloan, Jack Sarkissian. Said, Trump 2024. Weathervane. Said, Raid, let's go. 
Red, let's go indeed. I'm not even up a pawn in this deal. You got. What am I actually threatening? Namaste, sir. I am Fide Trainer, National Master. For those of you who don't know me, thank you for the follows in advance. Unfortunately, this is not necessarily one of those uber long streams. Kingslayer Sloan, one of the all time greats in humor and, and uh, the Welsh Canadian said, Let us go. Let us go. Somehow I knew he would try that. Said, go John, perhaps 4-5-P. We just have to threaten a few things on our way to the store, all right? Just need to pick up a few things. Just need to pick up a few things on our way to the store. Weathervane said, Hey coach, I've been hard stuck at 1400 rapid chess com and 1700 liches. Do you have any tips? I've been playing the King's Gambit and the Sicilian Nimzo. The on timeout for, for Weathervane. Um, yeah, we don't mention links on the thing. But this is a common across the stream, stream thing. <coughs> so the question was, the good news about, see, the, the really great thing about, the, both the good thing and the bad thing about the, uh, about the chest, the, the TTS, is that stuff can be said that is, uh, is banned. You've been stuck at 1700. Well, there are various plateaus that you're going to reach as you walk through, as you progress through chess, as you as you walk uh, your journey to chess improvement, you're always going to have this, then this, then this, then this, then this. So in general, and of course you're going to have your little dips as well as you put your feet down to climb, uh, to climb in chess. The main thing to remember is that you keep a little bit of accounting of your of what you studied to get where you are. Have you studied any world champions so far, or what is the world champion that you're most familiar with? Oh, let's untie him out so he can answer. Sorry, Weathervane. Thought we did that already. All these mods and no one to untie out this guy. It is a, it is a rather brutal, and of course, I think a. Uh, My personal thing is to make sure that you've studied a real world champion through and through. Said, I haven't studied many master games, but I have studied in general mm -hmm. tactics and end game study has gotten me where I am. That's correct. Now, when I was climbing the ladder, because I studied world champions only, personally, I only studied great games and world champions only, all the way toward becoming a master. It took me roughly five years to become a master from the from the time I started taking chess seriously, not from the time I started. I started and then I think uh, when I discovered the power of chess informant, chess informant and the current one is uh, 153 by the way. Namaste everyone, I can't even believe I squeaked into third place with uh, such a horrendous start and a half point by. So the number one thing to remember is that when I was uh, progressing studying master games, I definitely noticed all the quirks of all the various rating levels. And 1,700 players do, 1,700, 1,800, and uh, perhaps even as high as 1,900. <laughs> Happy New Year, Pegasus. That was Ron, by the way, our main and tremendous supporter, one of the legends of the stream. 
along with Kingslayer Sloan, who is our YouTube editor, Jack Sarkisian, who has sent many followers our way. I really want to show my appreciation before I continue answering Weather Vane's question. So, I saw all of the quirks of all the rating levels all the way up, and I would say that so that between 1600 and 1900, almost everyone solved all of their problems with tactics. They didn't solve their problems in a long-term positional sense. Like they would play for tactics, which would ruin their position, and it would impair their play if they did not get their t uh, uh, a really good successful outcome from their tactic. You could play for a tactic that would win a pawn, but it would impair your position for the long, long term. So in general, what I want you to understand is that when you are playing chess, there is a long-term goal and there's a short-term, there are many short-term goals, many short-term achievements. And it goes along with our own life's expectancy of, we all want something right now and we're all not as willing to wait months if not years for that something if we can get it at a greater level or in a in a more abundant sense right so study the games of the world champions take a real world champion for example someone the other day asked me about uh someone and uh Pegasus, well, Karpov is absolutely... Do you have any books on any world champions? You have books on world champions. That is the first thing. I don't want you to have to spend any more money. My default one that I usually mention is Capablanca. Because Capablanca is like at the root of all positional players. Uh, Magnus Carlsen is Capablanca. Karpov is Capablanca with modern openings. So if you can start with Karpov, if you wanted to study Karpov, the drawback that I have with Karpov is that he does not always play so assertively with the black pieces in the modern era. Like he is part of the Russian school of draw with black, win with white, and many of those round robins, that's how you become the world's most successful tournament player. You don't take risks with black if you want to win a round robin. If you try to win games with black and white, then you run the risk of Daniel not winning the tournament. Said, the Russians seem to love Rubenstein for positional play too. Absolutely, Rubenstein has a wonderful book. Uh, there's a Rubenstein uh, move by move, the whole move by move series by Lakdawalla. Manual and various openings books. I would love to spend money on a Capablanca book. Absolutely. So yeah, choose a Capablanca book uh, wisely. There are many out there. You could even get one written by Capablanca himself. Um, My Chess Career, I think, is a book written by Capablanca himself with his own notes. And I think it's an algebraic. Let me see if I have it. Alexa, turn on Dojo. My Dojo is a very much a mess because I'm redoing uh, the closet, so I took everything out of the closet. Alexa, turn on Master Chess. My chess career, I only have the older algebraic version. Oh, I take it back. I have the I have the older descriptive version, but I think let's make sure. This is a lovely read and it's not that thick. With an introduction by International Grandmaster Lev Albert. Newly edited and revised. My Chess Career by Jose Capablanca. Lovely book to read and get a good feel for enjoying World Champions games. The move by move books are really good too, but they lack the personality of the books that are written by the player. And from there I would move on, and that is easily the number one thing. I like Capablanca's 100 Best Games by Gollum Beck as well, but it's out of print and uh, not as easy to find. And in any event, I have to run. Namaste. I do, I have to run to uh, Sunrise Chess, which is what I normally teach at this time, but about four days of the week, four days of the week, I am going to be uh, 
streaming longer. Three to four days of the week, I like I get to stream a, a, an hour longer in the morning, maybe two hours longer. And it, but it's not today, as it turns out. Where are we? Where would we like to go? I'm looking for a chess streamer who's instructional. And the number one chess streamer that I can find who's absolutely and purely instructional and not just playing chess at the moment. And he is going through the problem solving method as we as we speak. GM Tranquilizer. Grandmaster Tranquilizer answers questions and he's very thoughtful and very uh, These are 35 real people. Namaste everyone between uh, Kingslayer Sloan. I hope you follow. I hope you uh, check out the YouTube channel and the Discord. Weathervane said Thanks for the advice. He'll make sure to study those books and try to become more positional. No, no, you're not trying to become more positional. You just want to see a chess game from beginning to end. From beginning to end, from beginning to end, from beginning to end. And that way you know where your pieces are going in the far-reaching future. You're also learning about coordinating your pieces. Coordinating your pieces in a manner in which you will always be able to recover. It's like cats always landing on their feet. You will know which way is up at all times, not just for something in your ear, but for something in your subliminal subconscious. Because if you study the games of world champions, you will always know what a chess game is supposed to look like. And you'll say, wow, I won that game, but that was horrible, right? Like, I can't believe how lucky I was. Whereas many less experienced players will walk away from a game going, oh, I have to show you my crush. Meanwhile, let me uh, throw up the ending screen I don't think we'll get our credits in for all of those followers. But thank you, everyone. Thank you. Cheers to Pegasus. Cheers and ciao.